Hey guys, this is RK, and I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting much lately. Um, it's We've had another heat wave here in the Pacific Northwest, so it's been pretty hectic. Um, on top of that, my husband and I are planning on moving. Um, we are in a much larger place than we really have room for. Um, so we are looking at getting a much smaller place for a significantly cheaper rent in order to make sure that, um, you know, we can afford the finer things in life, like more video games. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see here, um, I did take some video of me hanging out in Terraria, and I got my first goblin invasion. So it was requested that I take video when I do get my first goblin invasion. So here I am, and I hadn't quite realized yet that the vile thorn will go through walls. Um, sometimes I'm kind of slow. So eventually I figured that out so I don't have to open doors any longer. But until then, um, you can see I'm sitting here ignoring the caster for some retarded reason. Um, though he is going to come inward here in a little bit. And yeah, so this is me hanging out with the goblins. There's a metric ass ton of them um, in each given uh, invasion. Something like a hundred of them from what I understand. And out of this I did get quite a few spiky balls which helped a lot with some of my later things. And I also picked up a set of rocket boots which is really awesome. Um, I never did get the... Um, the jumping item, I can't remember the name of it, but there's an item that allows you to double jump that you can get from gold chests. And as you can see here, I finally have realized that I can go through walls. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, this will be my background while I talk about what's going on. Um, as I was saying, we're trying to move. Um, we've applied for a new place. Um, it's an apartment significantly smaller by my guess. I'm gonna say it's at least a third the size of the place. Um, originally when we first started out here we were uh, house sharing with another friend that uh, we worked with and then he and his girlfriend, he moved out, moved in with his girlfriend. So now we don't really have um, the we don't really have the need for all of this space. There's a lot of you know stuff that we're not using. We have three bedrooms. We're not even touching two of them. They're just collecting crap. So we are moving, which means that my time on here is going to be even more limited, um, which kind of sucks because the weather's finally gotten nice enough to where you know it's not too terrible. But there's not a ton that I can do right now because we've got to get moved. It's like a law or something. We really have to get moved. Um, so if you've been paying attention to my goblin invasion, um, you'll notice that uh, they've started breaking down my doors. I've started kind of losing control of the situation here. Um, and eventually I get to the point where I lose both doors and I'm just running around crazily and until the end where I finally, you know, am able to not have to deal with it quite so badly. Um, so basically my method for this is I will clear out the left hand side, then run over, clear out the right hand side, and hope that um, I'll be able to get them all within X amount of time. The problem is that I'm running low on mana, which, as you'll see here, is going to be enough to uh, um, cause a little bit of annoyance. You'll see on the left-hand side that um, uh, that I've got lost... <laughs> You'll see that I'm kind of losing control of the situation even more so now. Um, so, I'm kind of, everything's kind of running around a little crazily right now. I'm trying to get all of this stuff figured out and finished and so forth. I wasn't really prepared for how long this was going to go. As you can see, I don't have an arena or anything. So it's been a little 
Oops, and I failed to get it in. So it was a little overwhelming. Um, I'll definitely be better prepared for the next one. Um, this was a random event. I didn't use the cloth for this. Um, so, and that was a bad move there. I really should have gone and cleared out the right-hand side instead, since I had the left side under control. And so, yeah. When I was truly alternating back and forth, I was doing a much better job of keeping a hold of everything and maintaining control of the situation. And once I stopped alternating like I should have, it didn't really work so well anymore. So, um, I will probably end up building what they call an arena, or a space specifically designed to, you know, make this easier to deal with. Also, this didn't help. I think I lose both doors here. Um, so yeah, it was fun. Um, all the spiky balls were awesome. They helped me out with the next boss, which was, or with the next, the big boss, Skeletron, um, who's a pain in the ass. I did beat him on the first try, which was nice. I have, um, I have, what am I thinking of? I have made a couple of forays into the dungeon. Uh, it's not that great actually it's kind of scary as hell and yeah I just was not very good at it I ended up losing a lot of uh, losing a lot of time in there I did die once and got sent back to spawn so you know it kind of sucked in a lot of ways but at the same time it wasn't so terrible I guess um, I am planning on making another foray back there, hopefully this afternoon. Um, I do have a lot of things that I need to get done today. I've got to pack the bedroom and so forth and so on and all that fun jazz. So, uh, yeah, that's this and it's going to go on for a little while longer. Um, what else has been going on here? I haven't actually gotten to play much of any games lately. Um, I have played Guild Wars a little bit. Nope, there we go on the left hand side. My uh, door has busted open and so now I have to start getting access or killing everything as quickly as I can. Um, I do figure out kind of good angles for hitting both of them at the same time which helps but I don't really get to block out that door until pretty close to the end. Um, uh, let's see. What else is going on in my life? Game-wise, um, I do very much want to start playing Fallout New Vegas. Um, I probably won't be able to today. Um, I've got some things that I need to kind of get done and finished and sorted out today. Um, between packing the bedroom and handling, um, some other fun things. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, what else, what else, what else? Um... Hmm. Let's see. I have been playing Guild Wars. I will probably not be going back to WoW. Um, I am very much an addict. I am actually seeing a shrink about it, believe it or not. Um, and so right now we're trying to decide if I am a gaming addict in general or if it's just a WoW thing. Um, so far it's kind of been shown to just be a WoW thing, so... We'll see what really happens there, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. I won't be going back to that. Um, I will possibly be doing Guild Wars 2. I'm still interested in the Star Wars MMO. I'm still interested in a number of games. I'm just kind of waiting to see exactly what's going to end up happening um, with some of that. So, 
Oh, the goblin army has been defeated, which makes me happy because these guys kind of are annoying. So, um, I will definitely be building an arena for these guys next time. Um, yeah, so I defeated the Eater of Worlds. I defeat, after this, I go and beat up Skeletron. I've got video of both of those, so I'll see if I can't get them. Maybe I'll double time speed them. And, of course, I've successfully defeated these guys. Now it's time to go finish collecting coins and repair the damage to my house. Um, the I like using the axe for my melee weapon um, because it does quite a bit of damage and it's got that upward swing, so it swings in a semicircle. Problem is it tends to destroy my house when I use it inside the house. So, yeah. So, I fix all this up. And that's all she wrote. So I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And good luck with your own. And see you next time. Take care.